Hey guys, it's Susie Lolly, and in tonight's video, we're going to look at three ways that you can save time as an overworked, overburdened, underpaid teacher with Canvas. Stay tuned. This first time saver is such a quick win. You will be so proud of yourself with very little effort that you can save some time. So I'm in an assignment that I've given to students. I am going to tap over to the speed grader. And if you're like me, you give an assignment and then you always have kids who didn't turn it in and then you're taking time scrolling through to find out who didn't turn it in. So what you can do is you can go up to the gear and click options. I'm gonna go ahead and hide student names to unbias me. <laughs> And then I'm going to sort the student list by submission status. So it's going to move kids who turn it in and who I still need to grade to the top. So that way I am not having to sort through the kids who didn't do it by clicking next, 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 next. So I've got all kinds of students, but they're grayed out. The only ones I see are the ones that have orange. And then that brings me to my next tip. Give me just a minute. While we're in the speed grader, let me give you another time saver. So I'm on this, this student's work, and it is so much faster to say something than to type it, write it, check your grammar, do all that kind of stuff. So I just want to remind you or tell you for the first time, if you don't know it, that you can come down to the bottom and you can click either the video feedback. Probably won't let me because I'm using my video right now, but let's see. There I am, straight up in the Dunkin' Donuts. So I can record a little video. Not only does that save time, but it's also giving some personality, or I can use the microphone. Now right from here, I can turn off my webcam and just make it um, an audio recording, okay? So again, I can come right here if I wanna do audio or media, or I can click right there, and I can do speech to text, which is if I want to um, just speak whatever and have it type it out for me. So let's try it. I am typing a comment and I want to see if it recognizes it, period. It does, smiley face. Awesome. So that's another way that you can make comments as a one-off. You can leave media, audio or video, or you can also do speech to text and then I'll submit that. I don't have to submit if I'm just putting a grade, that'll save automatically, but when I'm adding a comment, I do need to submit. Let's uh, head on over to tip number three. A third way and probably my favorite way to save time um, just in general with grading, and I was an English teacher so I would know. <laughs> we are the kings and queens of too much grading. Um, but anyway, a third way to do that is to create some type of a comment bank. So I've just had so many iterations of this through the years. One easy way is in Word. You can, you know, if you know you're going to be grading documents in Word or whatever, you can go through and you can go to Options. You, this is the same kind of thing you can do on your phone. You can go to More and then Options. And then where it says Proofing, you can set up um, custom text replacement. So let me scroll down to where I just found this. No, right here, Autocorrect Options. And you can say, hey, when I type this thing, replace it with, and it can be as long of a comment as you want. So um, I used to try to hack that a, a different way back in the day, and I never could figure it out. It's so much easier now. So that's one way that you could just hack and put comments in, especially if you're going to be using Word as your grading tool um, from, you know, using cloud documents in Canvas. A second way is just to have some comments typed out and you copy and paste. So I could not find my version of this, but I found the student version of this where I would say, go through and check, did I use the spell check button, blah, 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 blah. Is the page number different on every page? I could very easily copy and paste a version of these into papers as I'm grading, and I could even use split screen. I'm on a Windows machine, so on a Windows machine, if you'll look down at your keyboard and push the little window button and then left or right arrow, you can send whatever's on top to the left or right of your screen, and then you can go back to Canvas, and you'd be able to, if I can find the right little tab here, you'd be able to paste uh, the comments in on your speed grader, okay? But what is even cooler is there is an, an extension for Chrome. You know I love Chrome extensions. If I can get this thing to quit coming down, there we go. <laughs> I love Chrome extensions, and I have a little Chrome extension called Annotate Pro. It's totally free, you just have to sign up for an account. It looks like this little A, and remember you get all your Chrome extensions by just going to Chrome Web Store. And then you can search for, I don't know if it's listed as Three Trees or Annotate Pro. I think I've shown this one on another video, but Annotate Pro. Yeah, right here. And so I've already added this one. Um, but you can take Annotate Pro and create a comment bank as, as well there. And it works, it specifically says Canvas Speed Grader. So it'll, allow, it'll let you search a keyword of a comment in the moment and paste it in. So let me show you it in action. 
I'm signed in already. You can create a free account. When you do, it's going to give you automatically a library called Your Name Starter Library. And it's going to give you a group because you have to have a... You don't even have to know all the ins and outs of this. You can teach me later. And it's going to give you a group called Susie Lolly's Group. Okay, I don't care about any of that. What I want to do is I want to be able to create comments. So I just go to New, Comment. It'll ask me which library to put it in. Again, I'm picking my original one. And then I'm picking my group. And then I give it a label. So the label could be something like MLA format. And then I can paste all of my comment text there. I've already done a few of these, so I'm going to pause and show you. So you can see some comments I've already made. Yes, they're quite lengthy, but you know, I just feel like sometimes kids don't even read the feedback, but I want it to be thorough if they do or if their parents do. So I used to structure, have students structure paragraphs using CDC squared. So this tells about that, or I gave them some tips about titling something. The, and then these come blank and you can change them. Uh, you'll get like random comments in there that you can change and save. And then here's how it works. When I go into speed grader, like this one, and I want to add a comment. I can click right here. A lot of times Annotate Pro will pop up, but if it doesn't, I'm just going to click the extension up here. Make sure I'm signed in again. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to type a little bit of what I'm searching for, which is the word title. And it, it'll put it right over here in the comment box. And then I have a whole robust title that I did not even have to retype. So comment banking can be a huge time saver. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.